demonstrate an example of three-point mapping using gray wolves and three loci as an example, which the three alleles will be coat color, light being dominant and dark being recessive, behavior, aggressive being dominant and friendly being recessive, and coat thickness, thick coats being dominant and sleek coats being recessive. So to do this, you have to start with a homozygous or heterozygous individual, um, which to get, in order to get that, you need to have two pure breeding parents, one for the dominant feature, uh, light coat, aggressive, and thick coat, and one for the recessive features, dark coats, friendly, and sleek coat. When you breed those, they will always produce a heterozygous in all three phenotypes or genotypes um, individual. So then once you have this genetic map, you can, you'll be given the coefficient of coincidence, which is 0.9 in this example, and the distances or probabilities between loci 1, 2, and 3, which in this case are 13 centime centimeters and 19 centimeters. And from this, you can find the probability of all eight occurrences or crossover combinations. And I'll show you how to do the calculations for two of them. The calculation for double crossover event, DCO, by the way, SEO one stands for single crossover event one, single crossover event two, uh, NCO is non-crossover event, and DCO is double crossover event, which is the probability of is the probability of crossover one or 0.13, which is 13 centimeters written as a, per, as a probability, probably of crossover two, 0.19, which is here. And you multiply by the coefficient of coincidence, which is, you multiply by the half, because you only want to find the probability of one of the double crossover events occurring, which is 0 0.0111. Single crossover one is even easier to find. It's just the probability of crossover one, 0.13, minus double crossover event, uh, 0 0.0222, and then again, multiply by half, which is 0 0.0539. Thank you for watching.